This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. My name is Maria Kramer. I am a reporter at the Boston Globe. I have just come back from Mattapan, where police are investigating the homicides of four people and the shooting of a fifth person. We don't know much at this point. We do know that at 1.12 a.m., police responded to the area of 40 Wollston Street in Mattapan. This is a street that's just a few blocks away from the B3 station, which is a station that covers Mattapan and parts of Dorchester. They responded because there was a shooting that was caught on ShotSpotter. They found uh, several people on the street, and uh, one of them, at least one of them, was naked. Uh, one of the men was naked. It, there were two dead victims, two men who were dead, a woman who was dead, and a, a toddler, and a, a fifth man who were critically injured. The toddler was pronounced dead later at, um, at a hospital. Here's what a witness had to say. Last night, around uh, 1.30, 1.35, I was uh, inside my house, and after a few seconds, I heard some shots, almost six shots. By the time I get to the area, uh, the first house by the top of the street right there, I saw uh, two people laying flat on the floor, but they, had, they, were, they, they got no clothes on them. They were naked. And I said, what's going on? When these shots happened, and then there was a, a car moving fast. Police say they have some good leads. They weren't specific. The one thing they were specific about, however, was uh, a, the a vehicle that was seen leaving the scene. This was a silver or gray Ford Explorer that uh, uh, left and is believed to be connected to the shooting. They are very anxious to find this car. This is a key piece of uh, evidence that Commissioner Edward Davis at a press conference just a few minutes ago said he is very anxious to find. So what happens a lot in, in, in murders in, in Boston and, and something that police have been struggling with the last few years is that it's difficult to get information from people on the streets, uh, whether they're afraid of retaliation or they're suspicious of the police, whatever their motives, often it can be quite a challenge to get information about even the most gruesome homicide. But in this case, uh, it appears people are helping. There have been um, many calls to the department's text um, text to tip line. This is an anonymous line that people can use. And uh, one po police officer I spoke to on the scene said that when a baby's killed, when a baby is shot, people, people phone in, people care more. Um, it just, this is, a, a, this is about as innocent a victim as you can find. And uh, people aren't going to sit on their hands and allow somebody who did this get away with it.